The quest for hosting another Winter Olympics here in Utah is going strong. And our Olympic bid committee has its eyes on either 2030 or 2034. Not too far away. Someone who knows a thing or two about the Olympics is right here in the studio with us today. Three-time Olympian and two-time <laughs> Olympic medalist Shannon Barkey back on the show. It is so good Yay. to see you. Oh, it's so good to see you ladies. It's it just, just awesome. feels right when the <laughs> snow is flying outside that you are here inside with us. Oh, it's okay. A start to the winter. We're going for gold yes. again here in yes. Utah. And you are part of this group trying to bring the Olympics back to our state. Tell us about the effort. Yeah, well, I mean, we have all of the people that put together the bid and hosted an amazing Olympics in 2002. So we've been working super, super, super hard. Um, you know, we got the bid from the U.S. Olympic Committee so that we could put our bid forward. And now it's in the hands of the International Olympic Committee. But we have a really, really strong, I think, bid. Um, we use all of the venues and we have such amazing support here in Utah. So I think we're a shoe in. Like if it was up to me, we'd host it. I know, me <laughs> too. Doesn't everybody here in Utah think so? Maybe. Uh, so tell me, how likely is it? I mean, 30 years later to possibly all right, host the next Olympics. I mean, I think it's really likely. I think that, you know, our sustainability effort that we have, the effort that we have that is um, all about athletes and that we have used all of the venues to not only, you know, get young kids and our youth into sports, but to be able to host world-class events for elite level athletes. They're all here and we're all just keeping it going. So I think that they see that. I think that they're going to, you know, reward our efforts and I and I hope we get it. What so, would it do fingers, for toes, our eyeballs. state <laughs> to have the Olympics here again? Well, you know, for those people that, that weren't here during 2002, I think we were all nervous, right? We're like, oh my gosh, how is this gonna impact our state? And it was two weeks of the most incredible community Olympic spirit. Magical. We just came together and, and it just showed, I think, Utah's best foot forward. And I know that we have all of those people that are invested in our community and our sports and how we present ourselves to the world, that we're gonna have that Olympic spirit again. And people are gonna be like, whoa, that was magic. And now can we do it a third time? <laughs> well, doesn't that say something too, that we are using all these venues? Like it's tried and true throughout the years, a couple of decades or so. And does that go a long way in showing, hey, this would be seamless. Yeah, you know, it really means a lot. I got to win a medal here at Deer Valley on Champion. And my daughter is now going to join the Wasatch Freestyle team and she's gonna be able to train on Champion. And that, I mean, that's that's incredible, you know, to be able to do something here and have that magic um, passed down to your kids is something that I'm really proud of. And a lot of us, you know, moved here for sport and are now being able to do that with our kids. So it's really Isn't that special. nostalgic? Yes, it's so to cool. To tell her I did this. I was at a U game a few weeks ago in that Olympic flame. Still yep. right there. You yep. see it burning. Would we do more? Would we add more venues and also use the ones that are already in place? Yeah, I mean, we've added sports since the 2002 Olympics. So we have to add um, a couple different venues, but I mean, I think Champion will probably be where they'll you know, host the Mogul event um, and, and some of the venues will be back in play again. So it's really exciting. And I don't know, I, I, just, I just want it so much for everybody to experience it when do we firsthand. Know? When will we find out? We don't know. Um, that is the thing that we don't know. We don't have a date. We don't have like, you know, this is going to be the time when they're going to let us know. They'll let us know it's when they let us know. such a mystery, <laughs> Shannon. Okay, we want to follow all of the updates. How do we do that? Yeah, so um, I, there will be there will be blasts that will be put out into, um, you know, on the, on the news and on TV, but there is no place, I think, that we can just go to find that. Um, we just kind of have to wait and see, and then it'll be like big news and fireworks but and Shannon all the things. But ShannonBarkey.com <laughs> all the time. You have a yes. website and there's a link on ours, abc4.com slash yes. daily dish. And in the meantime, let's all cross our legs. Yes. And, <laughs> and then you said eyeballs too, right? yes. eyes. Can we do this? Yes. yes. Thanks, all together. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you so ladies. much. We'll be right back. <laughs>